Try it again as we go into picks and bands for game number two. And the Rumble ban right off the bat against Marin. We never get to see this Rumble. It's nope. quite sad. Lulu again the first ban from SK Telecom. I'm wondering if they're going to ban out the Rek'Sai again, because obviously they banned out the Rek'Sai on blue side last time because they wanted to go ahead and pick the Udyr. Yeah. And they didn't want to be forced into a situation where they had to first pick Rek'Sai. Because Rek'Sai is just nothing compared to Udyr. <laughs> yeah. What a terrible jungler. Low tier jungler, Rek'Sai. Udyr number one. All right, yeah. Ezreal removed by Incredible Miracle. So I think that they just don't want the possibility of an early pick Ezreal where Bang can play it and then they have all this flexibility in the draft and SKT has a lot of options for that last pick on red side. A smart pen. There's the Rex side once again, no surprise there. And Thresh may in fact be the last ban once again for SK Telecom. I am has to ban LeBlanc unless they're gonna first pick it. Yeah, seriously. Well, Frozen. He's, you know, good, he's, a good law, he's a good LeBlanc he player. Is, he is. But they have to first pick it. Yeah. They have to first pick Udyr it. Udyr banned. They banned Udyr instead of LeBlanc. Okay. You don't, you don't okay, ban. Okay, Incredible they, Miracle. Well, yeah, like you said, they have to first pick it because you don't ban an Udyr and let Faker have LeBlanc. You don't do that. I am. You don't do that. <laughs> you're not going to do it, I am. <laughs> if they do it, Doha. You're not going to do it. I will be quite surprised. Not going to do it, man. So SKT is like. Fresh right. again. They're thinking about their options. They should ban Zeref. Uh, they're going to ban LeBlanc, so they didn't want to okay. go over. Callista again. Our first pick on blue side in this series. Well, Bang was an amazing Callista last game. Probably I gonna, think Marin's Maokai is going to yeah, show they should, they should take Maokai here. They should take yeah. fresh Maokai. Yep. And they will. Not. No. They will not. They should really take Maokai. Okay. Well, now I am should really take Maokai. <laughs> ah, Cho'Gath, we've been wondering when you'll make an appearance in the mid lane. <laughs> Faker has been playing mid Cho as well from yes. time to time. But I don't think that's going to happen right here. Jarvan yeah. snatched up immediately by SKT, wanting to have that engage. I feel like the new Katarina portrait is a bit too cartoony. I agree. It's not serious enough, Ryan. It's a very serious game. Yeah, come on, man. You've got, like, a uh, Blitzcrank. Let's get serious here. But it's just, it's just uh, it seems like a style so outside of the other things. There we go, much more serious. The blue frozen bird. <laughs> yep. That's more like it. Thank you. Wow, I'd be surprised if they actually locked in this Anivia. Frozen does play oddball picks from time to time, but he doesn't have he enough does. information. Hey, why not? Nothing to lose. Aurelia. Oh, Aurelia. All right. All right. Now, SKT should take the Maokai. A lot of single target damage and mid game power here from Incredible Miracle so far. They have good kill pressure in the lanes. Uh, we may see that Leona come out of Tucson again. And Renekton and Lucian could be some big comfort pick for Marin up in the top side. Yeah. All having a follow up. Renekton always one of his better champions. There's there the Maokai. Ooh, I'd be interested to see a misfortune. Not as much to see a Draven. He's going to go with Lucian. Lucian's fine. Yeah. Maokai, Lucian. More of a stronger lane presence, especially with that Thresh. If you can actually land a hook onto the Callista. But Morgana's still available. Not banned out in this game. They could also take the Braum. That would allow them to have a front, uh, strong front line and deal with some of the Thresh hooks coming in. Yeah. Ah, and we may see. A uh, mid Morgana, possibly for Frozen. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know about that. Not really sold on that pickup. Where you don't really yeah. know what Faker's bringing. All right. Mid Lissandra is solid. Yeah. Pretty safe champion. Yeah. Well, okay. Just, it's, they're just trolling now. It's a support yeah. Aurelia. Who knows, but. Support Lissandra, man may be able to see some Cassiopeia play from Frozen, although that is a bit risky considering her immobility. But well, if they take away the Lissandra as well, they... Okay, whatever. Whoa. I don't even know what's well, happening anymore. Support Lissandra. I've played Probably. it. It's fantastic. Probably is. And again, yeah. it's because Tucson will be able to engage with it and make plays elsewhere on the map. I love the unorthodox picks, man. I mean, I love it. Tucson showed us Vagar first in Korea. Now he's played Maokai, now Lissandra, I would imagine. 
This Baker. is a Victor seems like a perfectly reasonable pick here. Yeah, you can harass a little bit if he's confident in dodging the poison from Cassiopeia. And it will be Baker's second game on Victor. Yeah. Did very well in the last one uh, in an Ori matchup. Uh, will he stick with Cleanse, though? Looks like he will. He doesn't want to get caught by that ultimate. Several ultimates to be worried about this time around. Yeah, Lissandra yeah. ult causes a lot of problems for him. Is this actually him. a support Aurelia? Oh, God. I am. Please. I, what? Okay, I was going to say at least jungle Aurelia support Lee Sin. That's. It is, to, to IM's credit, it is a very strong all in. It is. They have yeah. a lot of single target damage with these two champions together. Now, what what exactly the support Aurelia is going to build, I don't know. This is very odd, yeah. All right, it's done. This is support Aurelia. Okay. okay. It is support Aurelia. Okay, so we are seeing a support Aurelia, guys. I am has either a brilliant plan or has completely given up. One of the two things. This is a really strong composition if they can get picks. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of damage will be, a single target damage will be coming to the table between all the twin fangs from Cassiopeia, a couple a big ults from Lissandra, of course, Callista building that Bloodthirster, but they have to get a huge lead early or else they are going to get smashed. So. You go in, you take a little bit of damage, and then you stun them. That's how the support yeah. Aurelia works. Seriously, it's a long stun. It's 2.25 seconds at max level, so. You can also pop out of the brush, do some damage, pop back in. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. And you're right. It is a, a long stun. Callista, uh, Callista gets a decent amount of autos. We'll see what happens, guys. Game number two, SKT versus IM. Let's do it. My deepest, darkest dreams. I have never once thought about a support Aurelia. <laughs> it has never entered my mental picture at any point. This is dangerous, is. Stella, because now, after this, the gates are wide open. Now you're just it's going to imagine every champion is support. I thought I did. The limits, I thought are, I the did. limits have been blown away, haven't I they? I thought I already had that mindset, but Tucson has shown me the way, man. Anything can be a support. Look at that. Bang just shot him. Tucson's like, all right, man. Now I can stun. Oh, Lilac gets completely caught. Goodbye. What the what? Ares flashes over the wall. Faker is still there. They can zone him a little bit. Were you aware, Doa, that there is a reason why you don't invade both jungles simultaneously, both sides of the jungle simultaneously? I believe level it's one? because there's no way you can know where the enemy <laughs> team is consistently. <laughs> and then they may kill you. And also, maybe there are four people on one side? Yeah. Very bizarre, level one from Incredible Miracle, and that will cost them a first blood. Fortunately for them, it goes to Tom instead of somebody else. Wolf had an ignite down, but Faker could have picked that one up and made their life even more challenging. So it will be an attempt at a lane swap here from IM. It will be called. Well, a Callista can throw the Aurelia into the team, I yeah. suppose. And then she can, you know. Stun somebody. Yep. That's right. Okay, Tucson. He just wants, yeah, he's going to be able to stun so hard now. <laughs> Got to get that health lower, man, and support Aurelia. Well, this is mysterious. This is one of those things that I think works well in practice, or in theory, but in practice does have a lot of issues. I guess I kind of understand where they're going, and they are playing to their strengths. And Woo. Bang actually taking a lot of damage right there. So even though it yeah. may be a hard lane, Tom can Here just come top at level two. Tom, the mighty Tom advancing into the top lane. This is a good gank, actually. Oh, man. yeah, This, this is, is really Sonstar. smart. He doesn't even have a buff right now. So far up. Coming in, and what are they waiting for, man? That minion wave is either There we go. Coming in right now. Wolf getting a position to get that play into Tucson when he starts to run. Nice escape from Tucson. Oh, he gets knocked up anyway. And that's another kill for Tom. Really good gank. Tom. Yeah. Uh, that was very surprising. Of course, he got the first blood, went back, picked up a long sword for that little boost of damage, and then immediately after taking Krugs, came up to the top side to make it happen. Perfect, perfect gank. Knowing that Sonstar and Tucson really have to play this game, this uh, lane aggressively in order to be successful, he has a very fast Trailblazer, actually, at three minutes. Yeah, I mean, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but with his first blood gold, he could have picked one up right off the bat. Am I right? I might be wrong on that. I don't it's play a lot of It's 450, so oh, okay. it, would so be, no, you it depends on how long he waited after minion spawned. Yeah. So. Either way, the long sword would help if you plan on going for an early dink. Oh, oh Wolf. Wolf coming in. Frozen pops that ghost. So there's an easy summoner. Wolf shows himself and a summoner used. Death sentence. Doesn't quite connect. Kachuk from Frozen, but Faker already really starting to bully out this lane in terms of CS. Yeah, 10 CS up already. Man, and uh, Lila getting a little bit of time on his own. CS, he is down to Marin's Maokai. I really haven't been impressed with Mar or, uh, Lilac's Lissandra this season, though. I, I don't think it's been one of his better champions. He really doesn't seem to succeed very well when he's not playing, ga uh, playing tanks. And yeah. Scion's disabled right now in Korea, of course. And the reason why, I know a lot of people were tweeting me saying, hey, you didn't tell us why this was disabled. Tucson is... Uh, kind of waiting for Faker to come yeah, back Yeah, waiting to, do to it. see what, what happened right there. But the stun comes oh. in. Tucson tried to make a play. Faker saw his flash. He should be okay. Yeah. Tucson, no flash for him. He's going to take attacks from the lane of Frozen. I think he might have used his Relic Shield, actually. So Frozen got a bit of gold anyway. But anyway, I keep getting interrupted. The reason why <laughs> in uh, Korea on 5.4, Scion is not available is because there is a bug with Scion where if you are ulting and you spam H for the hold position key, you can actually turn during his ultimate. Yeah, we mean like right turns. Yeah, yeah, you can turn. You, so, but you have to be ulting and you have to just be pounding on H in order for, it's obvious, which is why in other tournaments it hasn't been disallowed because you can just DQ somebody because it's super obvious when someone does it. Yeah, oh, Sansar getting grabbed by Wolf. Bang trying to make a play here as well. Tucson zoning a little bit. Sansar taking a lot of hits though. Yeah, and it's, it's also like impossible to do accidentally. So yeah. in that case, some tournaments have decided, well, we, if you do it, we're just going to, you're just going to automatically lose the game. Yep. And other tournaments, like this one, have decided that you just can't use it at all. So that's the reason. That is the reason why you have not seen Scion disabled in other regions, but you have in this one. Thank you. I feel much more informed. On behalf of all the fans of Korean League of Legends, we now know more. Rip solo queue after I told people that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it won't take long to be fixed. <laughs> See, it's just encouragement for, for Riot to do it quicker. Sure. Meanwhile, those highlight videos are really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw the lane swap go back right away. Bang. Even in items, though, with Sonstar so far, he only got an assist off of that kill. Still, second game in a row now where SKT is 2,000 gold up in about six minutes. So Tom coming into the top side. This is just to make sure that there isn't a gank coming in because right now Marin does not have wards. There's a pick in the river. So this is just setting up for a counter gank right before he recalls. That's just nice jungle timing right there. Helping out your laners, making sure they are super safe. Especially right as this Lissandra is about to hit six, so they get a pink ward for their trouble, and Tom loses very little time on the map. It's good jungling. Good jungling yeah. right there. He'll be there to cover mid lane as well while Faker goes back and yeah, this is very up his items too. Really good timing from SKT. Tom actually doing some good work early on just in terms of pathing and decision making. Bang. He's oh. gonna get nailed by that equilibrium strike, but no real follow-up. Sonstar, I imagine, is maxing E, one would think. You, yeah, can, you can also proc Relic Shield with Q, I just realized. Yeah, so that's... He's been doing it, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, interesting idea, considering you can get in for CS quite easily. I don't know what he's going to build, though. That's the big question in this composition. Do you build Talisman, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I think... I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what jungle Aurelia's build. Or I don't supporter, know what to... support Aurelia's build. But we remember don't know what that either one builds. <laughs> no. But remember that Tucson was the first person to really start playing support Vagar. Yeah. He was he was the genesis of that here in the Korean scene. Known for it in Solo Q, the first player to play it in champions, and then it ended up I just feel like getting 
nerfed very quickly and becoming a first pick or ban worthy champion. I, I just feel like it's so dependent on getting kills in lane, you know? I agree with you. Because what does it do late game? It's not tanky enough, it doesn't do enough damage. Yeah, it's, basi know, it's basically just a long stun, right? I'm all for, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all for unorthodox supports, but. And it, at that point, support fiddlesticks is like a million times better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. Easy deep wards in for Marin right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's an instant long stun. So, big R2.0, but you have to do it in melee range. So it's just also it's not an AOE stun. Yeah, it's it's not, not an AOE stun, stun either. So. Right. I mean, just assuming that you only catch the important person with with uh, Event Horizon. I know? think they just really wanted a lane swap here, and that they were hoping that Tucson will be able to walk around and actually try and gank people with it, which is not terrible in theory. But it's just really, really hard to do that against a coordinated team at the professional level. Lots of pink wards around mid, though. Faker in a little bit of danger, actually. Can't see to either side of him right now, but it's not going to stop Tom just for going for this dragon. No. You know, I am glad, though. I I'm glad that Incredible Miracle is trying these unorthodox picks. They don't have anything to lose. So, you know, why not show something different and entertaining? Faker's getting, oh, there we go. Never mind. The poke from Faker, better. Ares coming in, it's a battle for Smite, and Tom's gonna win it. Ares flashes, oh, he doesn't make it over the wall, but Frozen comes in with a big ultimate. Sonstar doing a lot of damage. Tom could be in a bit of trouble, gets him with the rend. And now Faker on the run, Tucson coming in, hitting him with the ultimate. And will they get the kill there? Bang can't save Faker, I don't think. Faker turning what a good, with a big E. Yeah, it's good death rate, no follow up though. That's three down in exchange yeah. for the dragon. Frozen, great engage with the flash and the ghost as well. Good ultimate coming in over the wall to save Ares, wow. and I am really turning that one around. Okay then. Yeah, Tucson got chucked in there by Sonstar as well, so it actually did work out quite nicely, but Bang not really responding to that one. And a bit of a cocky dragon. They had mid pushed in, but looked like Bang really didn't have any control over the bottom side, and that's exactly what I am once. They want to use the, the power of this Aurelia before everybody has items in order to get a gold lead. Well, let's watch this again. Great play from Frozen above Alice, I think, here. Oh, Bang was, an even, Bang was in base. Okay, this was not smart to go after, but Frozen really turned this around nicely, flashing actually into the Chaos Storm. And look at that double knockup from Aurelia as well. Really risky dragon for SKT, however, not a great plan when Bang had been recalling because they had pressure over the bottom side, but it was just not coordinated. Bang needed to hang around for just a little bit longer, and that would have gone very differently. Yeah. You know, either way, SKT still way ahead in CS, even if the gold has been even up a little bit. And Tom, with his actual first death ever, he didn't <laughs> die last game as Udyr. What a feeder. Yeah. Repot 9x. So yeah, they're still up in gold, however. And it's they still got the dragon. Yeah. Through all that. So SKT definitely not really hurting right now, especially with this support Aurelia that shouldn't be doing too much work. Looks like maybe Oh, well, face of the mountain is uh Yeah, it's gonna be face of the mountain thing, first, yeah. but after that that is the question. Whether you want more engage, which would be helpful because Cassiopeia sometimes has a tough time getting in range of her ultimate without a little boost. What's interesting is that he's, it looks like he's going for a full face of the mountain before anything like Sightstone or Mobility Boots or anything like that. Ares is trying so hard to gank Faker right now. And they're <laughs> trying to draw him into it because Tom is right there. Tom actually coming over the wall with an EQ just to clear out the ward with a Raptor buff. But Tom doing a good job of attempting to stuff these counter ganks from Ares. Ares has that. Well, if they can get him with the death sentence, he could be in trouble. Wolf's going to throw it in. Doesn't quite catch, but they will get the pink ward on the way out. Look at all the wards IM has. One thing IM has done really well this season is control vision in yeah. the mid game. That has been a strong suit of theirs. They frequently have better vision control than their opponents. They're just not able to convert that into a lead of any kind, unfortunately, for them. Well, SKT exiting the enemy jungle again. Meanwhile, we haven't looked at the top lane for a little while. Marin's still a little bit up on CS. Other than that, things are pretty normal. The question is, will he go for that uh, Rod of Ages, or will he go for a bit more speed, a bit more tankiness? I think he'll probably go Rod this game. Yeah. He doesn't, they're not really concerned about 
they're engaged right now. They have Thresh to make picks. They have the Jarvan, so it's not really necessary to have it. That's more of an item if you don't have other forms of engage or if you really need to create picks. It's a better choice because you can collapse on somebody super quickly, but IM2 is kind of an all-in composition, so you can trust them to engage upon you most of the time. Otherwise, this support Aurelia doesn't do anything. Certainly not going to peel for you. What's the cooldown on the Equilibrium Spreads uh, Strike? I don't know off the top of my head. Do you know? I think it max, it's seven or eight seconds. Oh, so it's not really something that, yeah, you can... Well, if you get CDR, it, it can go down. Uh, I guess, but still, what, 40% max CDR, so now we're looking at, like, four, about four? Four or five seconds, yeah. yeah. It's not too bad. It's not. I, for a long stun like that, it really isn't too yeah. bad. But that's all she's bringing to the table, right? A little bit of true damage if you're yeah. lucky, if you don't just die instantly. If you're chasing, it's you know more of a long slow because you'll usually end up having the enemy lower health than you will be. So, also, she doesn't stop buying sightstone either. So that's yeah, kind of an issue. Yeah, definitely. It's very odd to leave that sightstone for so long. Has not really been buying too many wards either. Well, this is an all-in aggressive step. Oh, there. boy, gets caught. There's a knock-up in a little bit of trouble. Calling comes calling. over the wall. A lot of damage. Sonstar saves him, though. Yeah, Tucson's just going to take a trip on the Callista train out of town. Ares trying to defend that tri brush, but they'll lose their vision there. And again, you know, with a support without a sightstone, those wards are suddenly very impressive. Oh, Bang gets done. Nice equilibrium strike. He's going to take the lantern back over uh. right into Ares. Whoops. And now Wolf getting chased. Here comes Tom. He's right there. They need more frozen over the wall. SKT, what is going on here? Marin came down with the teleport, but there's nothing he can do. Faker's going to apparently kill mid lane, but that was awkward, wasn't it? Well, I think they thought the Lantern would actually save him right there, but it actually <laughs> just brought him straight into a kick to the face. Yeah. Marin now here TP'd in alongside Lilac, but he didn't have a good angle to actually make a play in that fight after his teleport came through. Here we go again. Marin going in on a Sonstar. Tucson very, very low here, and Wolf's like, anytime, whenever you feel like. Marin doesn't have any armor, he just has MR right now, so making that yeah. trade maybe not the absolute best choice. Dragging up. Under the circumstances, only Tucson really has to go back, so. Right. Does stall out the recalls, maybe they can take it off of that. So there's Bang actually getting out on the lantern and just immediately dying to Ares. Tom not there to make a play in response. Gets stunned by the Equilibrium Strike, and you know what, Doa? Support Aurelia actually got two stuns off in that skirmish. <laughs> she did. It's true, it happened. Support Aurelia has led to kills in a professional match. All sorts of interesting stuff going on today. I think Dragon. If, if SKT wasn't misplaying these team fights, it would be terrible, but because yeah. they are, it's actually good. I think so, too. Don't let this give you confidence. Oh, Lilac comes in with a nice flash. Q, Faker getting completely blown up. Wolf in trouble as well. Tom escapes over the wall. Really good engage by Lilac. There's the culling IM getting very low as Marin wades in. They're going to try to go for the Dragon. Wolf frozen by, uh, or frozen, freezes Wolf with his ultimate, though. Marin's still alive. Dragon went over to IM, and that is nearly an ace. Tom didn't favor even of ult IM. during that fight. Jeez. He had a lot of opportunities no, to don't help do it. peel for Bang right there. And also, Bang took the lantern, even though he has a dash, and just left Faker to die. <laughs> What? Another stun? Support Aurelia. This is legit. <laughs> we'll see in the late game, though. We shall see in the late game. Yes, they're 9 to 2 right now. Dude, they're 3,000 gold up, but SK Telecom is actually skirmishing incredibly poorly here. Yeah, this they're is going to lose at least game. one tower from it as well. Tom is back. It's a 3,000 gold lead right now for IM. This could lead to a very again. embarrassing So line. Lilac comes in, holds Faker. Bang actually takes the lantern out, even though. <laughs> Probably a better idea to leave a figure right there. Tom's just like, peace, I'm leaving. He had a chance to get a five-man Cataclysm right there. I'm not even joking. Well. Frozen. Oh, what happened? Actually, it looks like his Cataclysm was interrupted. Oh, really? Yeah, because it went on a short cooldown time uh, right there. I just saw okay. it up at the end of the fight, so it looks like it may have gotten interrupted. Well, SKT equalizes turrets in the mid lane. Meanwhile. You know, I feel like there's a contest going on among Korean teams right now to find a way to lose in the most embarrassing fashion. They've taken it global <laughs> with IEM, but here we are, SKT challenging GE for the crown in this game. Yeah, Ares doing a nice job of coming back against Tom, who did have those early issues. Wolf here in the lane. Yeah, all SK had to do early to neutralize this Aurelia pick was just not 
not go crazy in terms of these skirmishes, play a conservative early game, and then this Aurelia does nothing late. But because they continue to engage in these little fights, these little skirmishes, they are starting to have issues, and Sonstar is really scary right now. Yeah, he did not go for the QSS. He decided to go right for Zeal. He's going to go right for the uh, Phantom Dancer as well, and that is another turret in favor of IM. Tucson is 2 one six on support Aurelia. This is happening. Sentences I never thought I would say. <laughs> All night tonight on Champions, apparently. Yeah, pretty funny stuff. Well, SKT's going to have to mount a pretty good comeback here. They have the tools yeah. to do it. They have the players to do it, too. They have the players to do it. The thing about Incredible Miracle is that in the support Aurelia, once they get some QSSs and some Zonia's Hourglasses in the late game, they should be pretty OK against the double AP composition. And they've got some really good late game champions in Lucian and Victor yeah. and, Maokai. of course, the Maokai. So they have to make sure they just get QSS, Zonia's oh. Hourglass, and taking a late shouldn't be an issue. Marin doing a bit of dirty farming, just because he can. Marin actually delaying his Rod of Ages or his Righteous Glory for quite a while now. Yeah. As he wanted to get that cowl just to deal with Lilac a bit better. I am pushing the wave up, but Bang is there waiting in the lane brush to take whatever comes his way. They are just purely counting on Ares to do the majority of the warding this game, and their vision still isn't bad, honestly. Because Deucin, look at that, still no Sight Stone. I mean, yeah, he picks up the Ruby Crystal, which probably is going to be a Sight Stone, but a couple more wards. He's got his Merc Treads as well. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out why they would use this pick instead of instead of Leona. Yeah. Because you would think that it accomplishes many of the same things that Leona does, except I mean, is, is worse at the, the higher level. You have a targeted gap closer instead of a skill shot gap closer. Your ult is way worse, though. Yeah, but you have a Kalista in this game, so you could just throw yourself in on yeah, Aurelia true. or I. I don't know. You know, I think it was eventually going to go to Lilac, and they just kind of panicked and had to change it. I like, don't think so. Tucson plays Tucson? a lot of weird supports. He does, but do you think it was their intent from the beginning of Pick Band to give it to him? I think they, I think they want. They knew that it could be played as support, and we're playing as a flex pick. Here we go. Yeah, Marin getting dove under turret here. Tucson and Sonstar there. Here comes Faker to try to bail out his top laner. Sonstar perhaps in a bit of trouble. There's a knockup from Tucson as he comes in. Marin in the back, actually Lilac over the top. A lot of damage onto Faker, but they do get the kill onto Sunstar anyway. Frozen turning. Marin in a little bit of trouble in this 1v3. He's going to go down. Meanwhile, Frozen versus Faker under the turret, and Frozen comes up with the kill against a low health Faker. Flayed in, though, and there's the Cataclysm. Tom remembering his ultimate that time. And it looks like a, a parting pink ward, a gift from Frozen before he goes down, I guess. <laughs> that was a bit odd. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was, really, but. Uh, Maybe you hope that they misclick on it or something like that, but anyway. I guess. Yeah, Bang coming in, uh, not doing too much to contribute to that fight. In the end, though, Incredible Miracle does get the tower, so they get what they want right there. Frozen with some really aggressive ghost usage well. under the top lane turret in order to pick up the kill on the Faker. So they've been having a lot of trouble on this victory this game, in spite of being very dominant in the laning phase, constantly pushing that mid wave and uh, coming out ahead in terms of CS, he just hasn't been there in the team fights or has been targeted very early by IM. But this is what IM's composition does. They want to chain CC. They want to get a Lissandra ult on him and change it, chain it right to an equilibrium strike so Faker can't do anything at all. Yeah, and between Face of the Mountain, Merc Treads, and now Sightstone, Tucson is getting pretty legitimately tanky. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Uh, there's a stun on the Wolf. Wolf taking some damage. Tom trying to zone. Sonstar backs off, saves the support for now. Marin in the back lines. Frozen getting a chance to do a ton of damage here. Tom makes it out. Marin's going to go down and bang. Oh Does he have enough? Never mind. Wow, Faker comes in with a big double kill and Lilac in trouble. Faker just over the wall from the Dragon Pit. Picks up the triple. Are you kidding me? Just waiting Jeez. for that time, too. I am thought it was safe to fight. Faker wasn't there at first. They're just going to go for Baron, actually. Faker will be left by himself with his Victor cues to take this one through, but yeah. I am trying to kite, manage to get clustered, and just eat an insane amount of damage from Death Ray. They're going to go and for Chaos mid lane. Storm. Yeah. That was huge. Take a look at that again. So they start to engage this one. Tom doesn't 
Yeah, Top gets out of there in the end. Marin does a good job of blocking the choke with his ultimate, however. Now watch the Maokai ult get popped on top of the Death Ray Jeez. and the Chaos Storm. Maokai had had a lot of damage saved up in that Vengeful Maelstrom as well, and they just absolutely obliterate the clustered Incredible Dude. miracle. And this is this is what Faker does, you know? People ask, how do you know that Faker is the best player in the world? Why do you always talk about Faker? It's because Faker will be down 0-3 in a game, and he will find that precise timing in a team fight where he can get himself back into it. He can yeah. make plays when he's been targeted in the early game, when he's had a couple misplays earlier on, he can still come back and make it work. You know something really weird happened in that team fight too? where Marin yep. twisted advance yep. onto Aurelia, and Aurelia was picked up by yep. Sansar's ultimate. Saw that. Marin just vanished for a little while. <laughs> we don't know where he went. He, he came back out <laughs> when Tucson activated the Fate's Call from Callista, but until then, I think Marin was just held hostage inside the Callista ultimate. I think that, that just happened, guys. A very funny interaction. Yeah. You can actually just take people hostage. With you. you can take Maokai hostage with you, the Calista ultimate. You can apparently. probably take Vi hostage as well. Yeah, that's true. She just disappears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Maokai definitely vanished for a little while, that fight. Came uh, out in a good place. But. I like how he still got the CC at the yeah. end, though. The Twisted Advance actually did go through. Very, yeah, it did. very funny interaction right there. Calista is a hilarious champion. Yep. <laughs> just saw that. I'm like, I didn't even know that that would happen. Well, just like that, SKT roars back into this one. Yeah, it takes the gold lead by a few hundred. Yeah, they were down by 4K too, so that's quite the comeback, yeah. Oh, uh, Faker just really ahead in CS of uh, uh, over Frozen as well too. Well, this could be interesting. No, no, it ended up not being interesting. Tucson and, and Ares are there to CC you. To observe, to see you, but not CC you. <laughs> Baker just putting still a lot of pressure onto that mid lane. And SKT, it's it's fights like that where you see SKT do this, and then it's like, all right, from that moment on, SKT, the game is just theirs. And we'll see if that happens this game, but that tends to be the trend. So now it's really on a knife set for IM. Fates call, Tucson gets it on a bang. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, wow. had decent ward coverage. There's the teleport used, though. And now they're oh. going again, continuing to scrap right here. Oh, Aries getting a bit low. Tucson comes in now. Tom escapes. Marin in a position to go back in, but they don't want to fight the 4v5, understandably. Yeah, good disengage with the box and the gravity field to yep. prevent that from getting any worse. I am nearly finding the fight that they wanted after the TP up into the top side. And Marin will have TP advantage soon, so they can always answer back onto Incredible's play. Incredible Miracles play up in the top lane. Should they choose? I want to see Fates call Eat Maokai again. <laughs> I hope we get to see that. Mara knows now never to twist the advance Aurelia, I guess. Although it is a apparently a quick ticket in the Actually, game in that case. It really worked out for them yeah. in that case because it got him right into that choke with his ult. So it was quite favorable for Marin in that particular situation. True, and the thing is, is if you've already got Twisted Advance activated, it's gonna follow Aurelia wherever she ends up going via the Callista ultimate too. So you're gonna be able to chase, still get that stun, which means no equilibrium strike when uh, Aurelia comes out the other end. Interesting. Yeah, well maybe. I mean, she can always just QE right afterwards though. It's, it, she definitely will be close enough after that. She's snared though, right? Yeah, but after the snare ends, unless you kill her in that time Yeah, it period. gives you a little bit of time anyway. Yeah. It's not in, it's not instance like, yeah. like it would normally be. Yeah. Indeed. I wonder if uh, Lee Sin safeguards Aurelia as she goes into the Fates Call, if, if he'd vanish <laughs> too. SKT going for a Baron here. And uh, wow, look at this, Sansar way at the bottom of the map. SKT going to turn around anyway. They catch Lilac here, a lot of damage, and Lilac oh, trying to make it out. That's oh, uh, not going to work. Ults himself by Zonius himself. I said goodbye as Tucson comes in. Frozen with a chance to maybe get a decent ult if this uh, tank here comes, Myron comes through onto Tucson. Tucson comes in, knocked up. Fate's call saved him from the QE combo knockup from Tom. Now right back to business, taking that scuttle crab, clearing yeah. out the wards, maybe seeing if they can bait the Baron a tad, but they a little bit low to be attempting that objective at the moment. Oh, equilibrium strike on Amarin. Stun on Amarin from Tucson. 
Just going to pop that ultimate to stay a little bit more alive, which is good. No real follow-up right there. And looks like the verdict is Righteous Glory oh, okay. for Tucson as his next item. So getting a bit tank here and helping with that engagement. Actually, that's, very, a good, that's a good choice. Very reasonable with the support Aurelia. Very good choice. I said Talisman, but Righteous Glory is obviously the better item for Aurelia. So. Yeah, it gives you a lot more tankiness, which you do need if you're going to be support Aurelia. It really does seem like you need to have a team that's prepared to ward for you, though, because if you don't get that fast face of the mountain, it's uh, it seems hard to imagine being able to do a lot in the early game. Your lack of tankiness is going to hurt, I think. Yeah, in those early game team fights. If you're so, by yourself, you'll be okay. Yeah, I don't think this is the type you of do thing have, you can take to solo queue. You do have true damage. I don't know. I think you can cheese people with this solo queue. Please don't take this to solo queue. <laughs> Please don't take my support spot and play support Aurelia. <laughs> That's what you're going to do now? You called it? No, no. I just want the spot. I don't want Aurelia. <laughs> and Colin going to put people away. Tucson coming in. Who's going to get the dragon? Wolf gets locked up. Lilac ults himself. Tom has to flee. Tucson gets loaded up with that Fates Call. Dragon's still alive here. He's going to get thrown into the back lines of his own team, rather. Dragon does go over to SK Telecom. Or no, it doesn't. Lilac goes over to SK Telecom. I kept expecting Dragon to die. Faker chasing now. Finally does, and it does go to SKT in the it does, end. does, yeah. They're still running right there. Faker. Actually, Faker just queued on Whoa, the- Whoa, that's a lot of damage from that E. Faker queued on the minion wave to get the speed boost to get in range for the E right there. Smart move. Smart move, and so SK Telecom looking like they, they I think they've figured this one out. They don't play sloppy and they uh, play smart instead. Blue buff goes to Faker. Now they're going to go after that Baron again. Oh, they, they are, are really pretty low, low. Frozen is really dangerous Frozen. in this situation. Yeah, he and that's what you love about Victor right there is your ability to clog a choke point. Yeah, Baron a bit low. It will go in. Marin turning immediately onto Ares. There's some damage. Wolf, be careful. Another zoning W from Faker. Oh, doesn't save Lissandro. Lilac's going to go down either way. SKT in firm control of this one. Yeah, they. I mean, they were lower health, but... SKT just controlled the space they were fighting in yeah. so well. Faker had two really good gravity fields back to back, yeah. clogging choke points so that he could freely get some damage alongside Bang. He started out 0 3 3 this game. He's 5 3 7 now. And let's take a look at this one again. First off, Lilac ults himself around Wolf right there, which really isn't the most advantageous. He's been ulting Faker previously, which I think has been the best choice. Instead, while he's ulted, Faker just is able to walk forward and get a bunch of damage down with Q and E. There he is using the flash, and then watch this. Q's a minion, gets the speed boost, and that's what allows him to actually clean up the rest of this fight. Q's two minions, actually. Yeah. Super fast Victor. And Faker's getting pretty terrifying now, if he wasn't already. A lot of items. Interesting game, though, that's for sure. It's SKT. been a fun one. It has, yeah. It's been a fun one. It was a little bit sloppy at first from SK Telecom, but IM got the fights they wanted with this support Aurelia, but this is why the meta is the meta. It's really hard to close with this. A lot of poke on the two scenarios blocks a bit of it with that safeguard. You gotta be, you gotta be careful doing damage to a support Aurelia when she's coming at you. Or Aurelia in general. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, she doesn't have a lot to to go with this game. She's basically yeah. just a worse Leona now. Yeah. If you can survive that early game, obviously early, she does a lot more damage, especially that true damage. So it's it's just a really all-in strategy because once you get late, there's really no reason to have an Aurelia with no items. And that turret in big trouble. I am not going to contest this one. Meanwhile, Maokai split pushing up in top. Faker comes down to group up in bottom. Mara doing a lot of damage to Lilac, actually. Very tanky. He's perfectly fine. It's the slow push right now. They have some wave clear with Frozen, but not a lot else otherwise. Marin will try, and try his luck with mid lane instead. So we can get done right there. Here we go, another Baron-powered wave coming in for SK Telecom. 
Still not doing a whole lot, however. Yep. Wow, Marin just going ham in the base. Lilac taking a lot of damage. Seriously, there's a W. Marin's like, all right, all right, see ya. Oh, no, ulted. On to Marin. Marin taking some damage now. Aries comes in, tries to go for a kick. Can't get it. Meanwhile, SKT, Marin's drawn so much attention that they've been able to get a little bit of damage onto that turret at least. Yeah, it keeps on pushing too, so I am on their toes right now, but they should have enough just to stop this push. It's Yeah, they're going to send Faker to push up the mid lane now. It's really hard for Bang to walk up on these waves because he just could get ulted or Lee Sin kicked really quickly, Yeah, especially from Cassiopeia. Sandra ult down now and was dealing with Maokai anyway. They're gonna try and kill Lilac. Yep, they're gonna try to advance on the Lilac and no ult. He's not going anywhere. That was fast. I don't even think Faker needed to use his Chaos Storm there. Eh, uh, why not? Yeah. Full cooldown. Wow. That Gromp didn't stand a <laughs> chance. Uh, he's actually, it's like he will be. Death Cap. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a six item victor. That's going to be. Incredibly painful. Yep. I actually would prefer to see him do what GBM did and go for the Lich Bane, actually. But he, oh yeah, he'd have to sell his Morello Nomicon to do that in the most efficient way possible. Just big, big burst. But against the team that IM has, I don't think it'd be too bad to sell the Morello Nomicon. Well, they also have no MR except for Frozen, who has. Oh, that's true. He's got Abyssal his Abyssal Scepter, but, but that's why Lilac's dying too. so quickly. No, no Abyssal. Absolutely no way to deal with the Victor Burst. He will just get 100 to zero before he can even hit his Zonia's Hourglass. Oh, Tom gets a bit caught here trying to put down a ward. There's Equilibrium Strike, stunning him. And he'll get out, albeit at about half health. Oh, Death Sentence, and here we go. Tom coming back in, going half. He's gonna pop that Cataclysm. They take out Frozen SKT following IM into the jungle. Now Faker doing so much damage over this wall. Tom comes back in again. He's not done yet. Goes down. Now he's done. But Marin and Faker still chasing. Look at that. A kill for Faker. Tucson giving it up, giving Faker the double. And Lilac trying to recall. And he oh! makes it out. Wow, Marin did not check that brush. He's Ares hunting. Oh, he just saw the ward go down. Yep. Where are you, Ares? Oh, no, look out. <laughs> look out. That could literally kill you. Oh, all right. Just trying to prevent him da, da, from recalling right da, here. Here we go, he's gonna da, stop it. Da, 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 da. He's gonna give a kill to Marin. Yep. Oh, he's gonna give a yeah, kill to Marin, and Faker, meanwhile, takes that inhibitor turret. Wow. Well, this game has been pretty exciting so far. Tom's read on that situation, by the way, was very good. Yeah. I didn't know why he was going back into Cataclysm, but he actually just helped burst down Frozen instantly, going in with you know, a third HP. But that's one of the things that really characterizes good players is having good reads on the map. Yeah. You know, knowing that Faker was coming in for the flank and actually making a play onto the back line like that was impressive. He knew it was for a within, new player. Yeah, uh, knowing that's within your limits yes. is really kind of the yeah. surprising thing there. And being able to trust your teammates and make plays with them like that is not something we see at that level from a new player very True. often. Although I suppose if you're going to start trusting your teammates right away with anybody, <laughs> you're going to be trusting Faker, right? Yeah, probably a good one to trust. Yeah. You know, maybe the best one. Yeah, it's true. Puts his trust in Faker, and Faker does not let him down. Well, Faker, as you were saying, he's gotten eight kills and five assists since the last time he died. Yeah. Things Faker does. And now Baron up in 20 seconds. I am. Can they do anything at all to stop this? Nope, they can't. They can try to fight it. Lilac in an interesting position. Could come over the wall. He's going to. Coming in, and he will ult himself, actually. Bang, trying to back away. This is Onius as well. Lilac just does not last. Tom all the way in the back lines. Huge three-man cataclysm. And now Faker just going to blow everybody up. Frozen got the kill onto Tom. But SKT all over this team fight. Teleport coming in. Marin wants to chase. He's trying to get in onto this support Leona or Aurelia. I see. I think it should be Leona too, apparently. <laughs> Faker still on the chase right now with that yep. speed Q. boost. Gets another Q off. Get rendered. Look out. Oh, oh, oh. He, almost. He's got a speed shrine. He does. Here we go. The great picture chase. Oh. oh, Q. Okay, speed boost again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and it's time to end the game. There goes Nexus turret number one. Tucson's still up. In the end, the support Aurelia, the last character standing for I, I am. 
I like it. It was it was a nice try. 2-4-11, not the worst ending score, but in the end it will be a convincing 2-0, understandably, from SK Telecom over IM. That is it. GG.